Sepsis is an infectious syndrome which can rapidly progress and become fatal. However, with timely initiation of screening and early goal-directed therapy, we can improve our sepsis mortality. In 2011, our sepsis mortality was 34% and was much higher than our expected mortality. This prompted the initiation of our clinical safety and effectiveness group to aid in the quality of our patient care. First, we identified potential areas for improvement in the process of our septic patients. Since approximately 85% of our patients at UTMB with a diagnosis of sepsis are admitted through the emergency department, we initially focused on prompt recognition of sepsis and the initiation of early goal-directed therapy. We realized that there was a need for increased knowledge about sepsis, and we also realized that early recognition of sepsis was a problem because there was no longer a process to screen sepsis incorporated into our patient care. We realized there was a need to standardize the implementation of evidence-based guidelines for early goal-directed therapy. Our project started in January 2012. Our aim was to achieve an absolute reduction in sepsis mortality of adult inpatients from 34% to 17% by June 2013. To accomplish our aim, we had several interventions. First, we deployed a sepsis screening checklist for triage staff to initiate in the emergency department on patient presentation. Initially, this was completed on paper and currently there's an electronic version within our EHR. We created a revised workflow of early goal-directed therapy tailored to the capabilities of our UTMB emergency department. We created and deployed a sepsis order set in the EHR. It not only aids to standardize the care of septic patients, but it also serves as an educational tool for the user. And we decreased time to antibiotic administration by adding appropriate antibiotics to local Pixis machines. Finally, we started our ongoing effort to educate our multidisciplinary team about the care of our septic patients. We're extremely excited about the results of our sepsis project. We were able to improve sepsis screening and initiation of early goal-directed therapy. Overall, the institutional sepsis mortality decreased from 34% to 12%, and we now have a lower observed mortality than our expected mortality. For our next steps, we want to continue building on our prior success. We want to extend our interventions beyond the emergency department and into other areas of patient care. We continue to assess the durability of these interventions and to identify areas for future improvement in the care of our patients. The neat thing about this project was we were the first project to matriculate into the clinical safety and effectiveness course at UTMB. We were able to use our diverse backgrounds to help in the care of our patients.